Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the US 441 Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Martina Paradise, and I am the Project Manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to present plans to resurface a portion of US 441 and improve safety within the corridor. We encourage your input, and there are many ways to provide feedback. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the projects and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. For those listening to the meeting over the phone, the presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448635-1 or 445218-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720 by phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. FDOT is proposing two adjacent projects on US 441, also known as State Road 25 in Marion County. The first project begins north of County Road 25A and ends at Avenue I. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 448635-1. In addition to repaving the roadway, proposed plans include retiming the traffic signal at the intersection at West Highway 318 to reduce crashes, converting the existing full median opening at Northwest 191st Lane Road, to a directional median, and installing additional signage to warn drivers of wildlife crossing the roadway. Currently, this segment of US 441 is a four-lane divided highway with two 12-foot travel lanes in each direction, four-foot paved outside shoulders, and a 40-foot median. It was last resurfaced in 2009. There is one traffic signal at the intersection with West Highway 318. One way FDOT plans to improve safety along the corridor is to limit crashes or conflict points by restricting certain movements that occur at Northwest 191st Lane Road near the Sunoco gas station. FDOT is proposing the modification of this existing open median to a one-way directional median. This will improve safety by limiting the number of movements a driver can make. Vehicles traveling southbound along US 441 will be able to make a left turn onto Northwest 191st Lane Road or access the Sunoco gas station. Drivers wishing to continue southbound on US 441 
from those locations will be required to make a right turn onto northbound US 441 and make a U-turn at the next median opening. To reduce conflicts between vehicles at the intersection of US 441 and West Highway 318, FDOT proposes to adjust the timing on the traffic signal so that each direction of traffic is given a separate green signal to make all movements, assigning right-of-way sequentially to the opposing approaches. This signal programming change will protect vehicles making left turns onto US 441. Moving forward, the design of this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in fall 2024 with an estimated cost of $1.2 million. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is funded for spring 2025 with an estimated cost of $7 million. The second project begins at Avenue I and ends at the Alachua County line. The FPID for this project is 445218-1. In addition to repaving the roadway, proposed plans include reconstructing curb ramps and extending sidewalk to Avenue B and McIntosh, replacing the poles for the existing flashing yellow signal at Avenue G, converting the full mean and opening at Southeast 185th Avenue to a bi-directional median and installing additional signage to warn drivers of wildlife crossing the roadway. Currently, this segment of US 441 has two different sections of roadway. In the town of McIntosh, US 441 is a four-lane undivided highway with two 10-foot travel lanes in each direction curb and gutter on both sides of the roadway, and five-foot sidewalks. There is one flashing yellow light at the intersection at Avenue G. Within the town of McIntosh, in addition to repaving the roadway, FDOT is planning to replace and reposition the strain poles for the flashing yellow signal at Avenue G. FDOT also plans to reconstruct curb ramps to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act ADA standards, as well as extend the sidewalk from Avenue C to Avenue B. The sections of US 441 north and south of the town of McIntosh consist of four-lane divided highway, with two 12-foot travel lanes in each direction, a 40-foot median, and four-foot paved outside shoulders. To make turning movements safer and easier at the intersection of US 441 and Southeast 185th Avenue, FDOT is proposing median modifications that convert the existing full median opening to a bi-directional median. Vehicles traveling on US 441 will be able to make left turns onto Southeast 185th Avenue. Vehicles entering US 441 from Southeast 185th Avenue will be required to make a right turn and use the next available median opening to make a U-turn. These proposed improvements will reduce conflict points at this intersection. For both sections along US 441, FDOT proposes installing new Animal Crossing signs with flashing lights to enhance visibility for drivers, especially at night. Moving forward, the design of this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in fall 2024 with an estimated cost of $1.1 million. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way Construction for this project is funded for spring 2025 with an estimated cost of $7.2 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight.
While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by November 27, 2023, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members, to ask questions, and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. You may also contact FDOT project manager Martina Paradise directly by email at martina.paradise at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Miss Paradise at 386-943-5466 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com, type project number 448635-1 or 445218-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the websites now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on these projects. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by November 27, 2023. Have a good evening.